In this video, we will discuss copyrights, patents, and trademarks. The differences between them, the advantages they have, uh, uh, reasons why you need to know about them, some of the things that can go right and wrong with them. Copyright is easy. You can create a copyrighted work instantly. You don't need a lawyer, you don't need a filing fee. It's a simple matter. When you take a photograph with your phone, record something with your phone, uh, film or audio, it's copyrighted from the moment of creation. For copyright, all you need is it has to be original and it has to be fixed in a tangible medium of expression. It's very simple. We create copyrighted works all day. For copyright, you don't have to send it to Washington. You don't have to pay anything. There are advantages to registering your copyright in Washington with the uh, Library of Congress is where the United States Copyright Office is located. There are reasons you should register your work but it's protected from the moment of creation. If you wrote a song and you wanted to put it on YouTube, I think you should do it immediately. As soon as you think it's, you want anyone to hear it, it is protected. If you register it with the Copyright Office, it'll take months, but you're protected before it even becomes officially registered. Trademarks are important because they distinguish goods from each other and services from each other. Some of the issues with that, again, you have to think, you don't want to confuse the consumer. Of course, everyone knows Apple. They started in the mid-1970s, and they wanted to trademark that name. There was a problem right away with them getting a trademark because the Beatles, who were more famous, in the late 60s created Apple. And they meant Apple Music and Apple Records, Apple Publishing. Their company was Apple. So when these guys in California, Steve Jobs, wanted a trademark on Apple, the Beatles were concerned. But the, everyone talked about this and said, well, this won't cause confusion because Apple computers said, well, we do computers. We don't do music. So there's no issue. How could you, there'll be no confusion. And the Beatles saw that and fine, it went on until <laughs> Apple computers get into music. And then there was, okay, now there's a problem because when Apple computers were created, of course, computers originally weren't considered to be fun. They were things for work and computations. So that had to be worked out so that both companies could stay as Apple. To get a trademark, you'll have to have a fee of about $290 you'll have to pay. It's an extensive application process. You definitely need a lawyer. You have to do a search of trademarks to make sure yours isn't too close to something or the color or your logo and so forth. That's pretty complicated. You have to have a lawyer, a trademark lawyer. Patents are inventions. There are three kinds of patents. There is a patent called a utility patent. That's what you normally think of, something that's useful. If you go to Starbucks, the insulating sleeve that's on the cup so you won't burn your hand, that's, that's a patent. Uh, the lid on the cup is a patent because of how it's designed, uh, the, the type of hole in it, the reservoir where the other coffee goes, and so forth. Those are utility patents. A design patent is some design that you want to protect. A patent lasts for 20 years. So there's a utility patent, a design patent, and the third patent is a plant patent, meaning you're crossing one type of plant with another for some scientific reasons. And a lot of medicines come from plants. So plant patents have been around since 1930. They're extremely important. And like the other two, they last for 20 years. To get a patent, it's insanely complicated. You need uh, probably $20,000 at the minimum. You have to do extensive searches. You need a patent attorney who's much different than any other kind of attorney. It's a higher, uh, level of expertise, but you have uh, some good advantages by knowing what they are, knowing the difference. With copyrights, patents, and trademarks, as I mentioned, copyrights uh, are very important. They're the government backing your work. It's, your work is copyrighted from the moment of creation. It's very important. You have the right to exclude others from using your music. Trademark is something that will identify the origin of goods, the recording artist or the band, the record label. Patents can be a process. It's very important to know about them, know the differences, and to be able to use them to your advantage.